And now, Minion Works presents Freelance Heroism. You have to cut that. I mean that. <laughs> you have to cut that. I didn't realize we were recording. Oh, yeah, I, st- I started right okay. away. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Freelance Heroism. I'm Deese. And I'm Rachel. We're a D&D 5e actual play podcast. Our current campaign is Curse of Strahd, a gothic horror-inspired setting in the dangerous and fog-shrouded land of Ravenloft. While the setting is serious, our heroes are not. Will they actually be able to defeat the vampire lord Strahd and restore peace to Ravenloft? Or will they just steal goats and invoice villagers? Join us and find out. On this episode, No Place Like Home. Last episode, the party split into two groups. Chu Nakote and the professional traveled to the Nope House where they recovered the Mirrorverse's version of Kavir's daughter, Relena. Evil Kavir left a taunting note with Relena, suggesting he was sure he'd see them again. Meanwhile, Adrian Ragnick buried evil Adri and said a prayer over her grave. Within Donovich's church, they met an Azamar named Azriel, who had died over in their world. Unable to stay and talk for long, the divine duo left in order to meet up with the rest of the party in Veliki. There, they found a note and a shattered mirror. Boom! Shattered. <laughs> and that was the title of the last episode, Shattered Mirror. Shattered hopes, shattered dreams. I just think it's funny, right? Mm-hmm. Because I don't know what this priest's name is, and he's supposedly like my best non-party friend in this world. <laughs> is it see? Donovich or Donovic or Donovan? No, because we've Lucian. said all three. So it's it's Lucian that. Oh right, the vamp. He can't even remember his name. I don't care. He knows I don't care. That's why I like him. I don't have to pretend. <laughs> Lucian uh, is the one I like. Donovic, Donovan fucking Donovich uh-huh. Donovichki whatever he's the, the he's the guy with the vampire spawn son right the one on the roof that you got thrown at yeah yeah right Don- that, okay but for the record we've mm-hmm. called him all of those names Donovan yeah. Donovic Donovich and every time I think I'm right I'm not <laughs> so what which is it do you know I can't even trust this I don't, know. I don't even trust I don't this. I don't I don't have the I th- probably in the book it has like a pronunciation guide because they did probably fucking marcus is probably his name has been swept up to a small pile and there's a note on the ground written in a child's hand it gives you three times the day okay what three times 6 a.m noon and 9 p.m three six nine damn she fine what time is it now 11 ish a.m or p.m am it's morning so good we get an hour of deece berating adri hold on hold on i'm thinking for a minute well, i'm assuming if it's child's handwriting the only kid we know running around here is victor was that the um what but yeah but he's a studious kid right his handwriting would be more this one it was written more in Almost like it was trying to copy your handwriting. Okay. And and that was the order that the numbers were in? 6, 12, and 9? Yes. It's like they were trying to not let anyone... The way it was written was he was trying to copy your thieves' can't so no one else could decipher it. It was a bad job at it, though. Are there any clocks in the room? There's clocks in the house. Yeah, can we get an accurate count on what time it is? Um, your clock's reading about eleven twenty. Anything ornate 
about any of the clocks in particular? Any of them seem more important than others? Nothing really. Okay, well, I guess we wait till 12 and see if something happens. Are any of the clocks reflected? Got mirrors or anything on them? No. Wait, did the letter say midnight or 12? 12, like 12 noon. Yeah. Okay. okay, so 6, 9, and 12, what do they all have in common? They're all daylight hours, early in the morning. Uh, all divisible by 3. Right. The only time missing, if it was on a clock face, would be three. Mm -hmm. That's why I was looking for a clock. Maybe we could move it to the yep. security, like move the lever to those times and opens the door or something. Well, I guess the first step in investigating this would be just wait to see what, if anything in yeah. particular happens. Try and spread out a little bit so we can get a wider view of more areas. Well, it was left here on the mirror, so it seems. Is there is there any way to? I mean, the the pieces of the mirror didn't like shatter into like dust pieces. It's like large shards. Yeah, like someone purposely broke it. Yeah, they broke it, but they didn't like smash it up on the floor, right? No. Okay, I'm gonna try to reassemble the mirror. All right. I'm gonna cast mending. You see that this, the as you cast mending, the mirror actually reflects your your spell and it doesn't work. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to try to reassemble the mirror as best I can. This does appear to be the same mirror, correct? Oh, it is the same mirror. Okay. Can you detect magic on this real quick? See if it still has any semblance of magic in the pieces? I can do that. All right. Okay. What do I got? Well, if it reflected a spell, it's got to have something going on. Yeah, but detect magic yeah. doesn't target anything. It just keeps your yeah. eyes open. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying there's got to be something. If it's reflecting, I'd, I'd guess some kind of abjuration on it. Uh, I, I do my ritual. What do I got with that? You cast detect magic. It does glow as it's still magical. And if you, know, if you hold it for a couple turns, you get to determine what type? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to concentrate on it. The whole nine yards. I want as much detail as I can get from this. So I've got 40 minutes, roughly, to assemble this puzzle. Anyone good at puzzles? I can help you. I got a pretty high intelligence. You know, if you want rolls on it or something, I got an 18 intelligence. <laughs> Ragnick tries to help, but he keeps seeing his reflection in the chunks of the mirror, and he's like, this goes on the outside piece. <laughs> he keeps this outside, too. <laughs> this outside, too. <laughs> All the green touches. Adrian does not have an intelligence score to really help with puzzles, but she does feel extremely bad and will help however she can. As you guys are putting it together, um, the time passes. You hear the clock in the room ding at 12, but nothing really happens at first until you start seeing the mirror slowly begin to solidify and go red. And it forms back up into the mirror it is, and it's holding there in a shape, and the portal opens. Oh, we gotta jump through this on bitch now. You right. hear a female voice on the other side. If you're there, hurry. Oh. He can't hold it long. I, 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 I go, I go through first. No, 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 Ragnik, help me carry this. You can, you guys both help. Someone with oh. yeah, I can help. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing Storm and Gertrude through. Sorry, I forgot that we had fucking Snow White. All right. Adrian, so, Adrian how, help. Okay, how are we going through? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry the coffin Terminator 3 style. Let these guys right. go through, and I'll just carry it through myself. Terminator right. 3 style? All right, if you're doing that, I'm just I'm going to grab Storm, yeah. and I'm going to grab Gertrude, and I'm jumping through. Was it two or three? I think it's two. We're, we're Schwar what are we where Schwarzenegger has the casket over his... Oh, it's got to be two then, right? Yeah, I think that okay, was two. two. As you guys go through, you see Victor on the other side with both hands up, holding the mirror together through magic. You see another woman in the room and Donovan behind Victor using a cure spell on him as his blood is literally flying from his hand to hold the mirror together. Donovan? Victor. I'm sorry, uh, Lucian. Father Lucian. I'm sorry. Got my clerics mixed up. Do we know who the oh, woman is? The woman you guys recognize is Stella. She's uh, the mad oh. daughter that doesn't look mad anymore. Oh. 
As you guys all enter, the uh, the portal closes and Victor drops to the floor. I'm going to hit him with a cure spell. Can't believe I'm doing this. But I got a cure wounds on him right now. All right. Uh, 17 points. You bring him somewhat back to consciousness before he fades back out again. Lucian picks him up. I reach down and um, cast Lay on Hands. Actually, Ragnick, your spell doesn't go through. Your healing spell. What? I'll cast a cure on Victor. All right. His eyes open again and... Hey, you made it. Aw, Victor. Where's Kavir? Right here. Oh, thank God he wasn't you. What? The, the asshole that came through last time. Victor! Oh. You know what? I'm going to let it slide because, like, he is an you're really good. This, you did really good. So I'm going to let, I'm going to let this slide. I'm sorry. Are you talking about the curse word? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> When it comes to smashing guards in the face with a giant piece of metal, she's fine. Where did he go? I don't know. Uh, I want to we have to talk, though. He got into a Luda outside and <gasps> um, damn near ran Luda through. I don't know how Luda survived the wound. Where, where, is, where is he now? Luda? Yeah. Who knows? The town ain't what it was anymore. Lucian's like, let the kid rest. Let's go downstairs and talk. Uh, before been... anyone leaves the room, I want an investigation check. I rolled a 24. Right. I want to look to make sure everyone looks like themselves. Everyone does. Um, Lucian's Lucian, Stella, Stella, and the kid's the kid. Okay. Lucian's like, right, we, have, we have a lot to talk about since you guys have right. been gone. Is there a bed or something up here I could put Victor on? Um, Stella's like, yeah, um, he's been using one of the rooms down the hall. All right, I'm going to take him in there. You guys head down. Gert, I want right. you to keep an eye on him. She nods. That's my girl. I'm, I oh, whistle for Fauna, guys. too, as soon as I get within earshot. Fauna is, is with Irina at your house. Okay. Ragnick's just kind of looking at his hands, trying to figure out what the fuck went wrong. Lucian kind of looks over at you. Perhaps it's a thing of the of the transfer of wherever you guys came from. Victor says it wasn't pretty over there when he went through. Yeah, it's not pretty. Adri, don't hate the kid for his book. He found one of Watcher's old books. And it's the only reason he's been able to keep that portal open three times a day. Okay. No, that was really that was really smart of him and we wouldn't be here without him having done that. So Victor has Warlock book. No, Victor has a dark spell book. He used it to raise the skeletons downstairs to defend the town when the guard fell. The guard fell. Well, what the fuck guard fell? What? The Vistani attacked. Strahd realized you guys were gone and attacked with the Vistani. Oh, hell no! Came through, took half the town out, Burgermaster locked himself in the house with whatever guards he had left. Ragnick just takes off. Lucian's like, I'm not stopping him. I don't have the manpower anymore. Only three main buildings stood against the assault. All right, what do we have left? Lucian? Which three? Well, obviously your house was one of them. Professional the other, design. The other one was the Thank Watcher God House. The, rape dungeon. the Blue Feather Inn. Did you know they had were ravens there? I suspected. Well, thank God they were here. Because when the guard felt they stood up, and when they went down, the Vistani never saw the bones come forth. Little bastard didn't say Radiant Damage killed him. Poor Vistani never had a chance against. It's something that needed radiant damage to kill. Now, the raven's also known as the wolf bird. What was the third building? 
the Blue Water Inn. Now, the Burgermaster's mansion survived somewhat, but that's just because he boarded himself in with a couple of his guards. The ones that are loyal to you try to stand with Victor against the Vastani when they first showed up. That's when Victor found the spell book. Uh, look at the kid. Like you did good. He gives you a thumb up. And don't die. He coughs something under his breath about blood magic being overrated. That's true. I gotta go check on something. I'll be right back. Nods. Adri, uh, Chunakote. Yeah? You think you can keep an eye on Relena? Yeah. Be safe, brother. Alright, I'm gonna, like, uh, tap on the glass and then dash as fast as I can out the uh, door to try to find Ragnar. Victor's eyes kind of shoot away. Did he say Relena? Yeah. Where the <laughs> fuck did you guys go? Detroit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's training day, bitch. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> All right, Ragnick, you, you build out of the and house Chandler, first. And Chandler, right? And Chandler. Yes, and friends. Chandler. Friends. Monica and Chandler, and nothing else. <laughs> Monica. Don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're just begging to have the shit taken off my team. <laughs> All right, Ragnick, you left the house first. Yep. I am in Where a dead sprint to the Burgermeisters. All right. You find the doors, are, um, they're not as barred as they were. They're, they they can't have a couple of the town guards outside. i got a feeling they ain't going to be barred long. But... Hear that, Adri? It's not going to be barred long. That's I heard that, yeah. The that bars is, are bad. That is a sad. Very sad. 26 strength to <laughs> kick the door in. Uh, you shatter the door better than Adri did in the first town. Okay. She was trying to open it. But she knocked. She knocked it the whole thing. I almost spewed coffee. <laughs> I almost spewed coffee. Put it, she put the door back, like in the frame. And she apologized. All right. Right. And she it's, not a, it's not a okay. crime if you knock the door down and then just prop it back up. The, the two guards kind of back off and they're like, hey, whoa, we're on your spare roll. Do what you want. Okay. I head on in. Do I see the burgermeister? You hear him in the study. Okay. I head for the study. You find him. Grab him by his throat. And I drag ah! him I drag him to the town square. He's kicking and screaming, but there's no <laughs> stopping Ragnik right now. Do I uh do I see Ragnik since I'm chasing and moving fast? You catch sight of it. I'm gonna try to stop him. Alright. How are you Not doing this? Not physically. Not physically. I'm gonna try to get get in front of him and be like, look. I know shit is frustrating right now. Yet. Look. He keeps moving. He keep keeps focus. He keeps moving for the town square. Worse. So what? He keeps moving for the town square. Ragnar. We have to focus or things are going to get worse. They're already worse. They're going to get worse than this. Listen. Look, I'm not a douchebag, okay? <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> I speak Orcish. It's on my sheet okay. now. Oh, dear God. Get, up, get out not... of my way. I am going to do what you will not and what she cannot. Look. Yet. <laughs> You're being a Do I fool. see any of this interaction? No. no, you're inside the house protecting. Look, I'm going to kind of gruff up a little bit, even though this is like the worst decision. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like, look, this little bastard will be here later. We can take care of him. But every minute that we that goes by without us taking action or making some sort of blockade against this negative energy here, it's going to get worse. I am fixing to, to make. Sore. I am fixing to make blockade against negative energy. The hand it's... goes to the hill to the sword and pulls it. Now I suggest you get out of my way. Why do you think that your shit's not working right now, huh? Why do you think that is? Because I failed court. No, 
It's because you're taking the wrong path. Niet. And I'm here to try to help. Niet. I failed. He has taken his powers, and I have failed. How better to solve it than to continue failing? Allow me to do what I need to do. And if you're not going to move, then I'll just do it here. I'm not going to move. All right. So he fucking bur pulls the Burgermeister up, brings the sword down, one fluid swoop. Uh, this is for being coward. Cowardice will not be tolerated in this town anymore. Can I take a reaction when I see him pull his sword out? I don't see why not. We'll see if this works. I'm going to use my portent roll, my 17. All right. And I'm going to try to sleight of hand the bottom of uh, Ragnik's sword, like the handle. And I'm going to flip it so that the sword comes out of his hand. Okay, so, what do we roll against that? I don't know. But the total roll will be a 23. Strength saving throw? That's what I'm looking for. Where we... um. I'd say strength or dexterity. Hand. I'd what say do we? Yeah, I'd say either strength or dexterity. To hold um, on to the sword. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, it'd be his strength against his finesse twisting it. So I would say it'd be a strength save. Rach, what are you thinking? I was going to try to look up to see if there's anything about, like, specifically in sleight of hand. Uh, you know, what he's technically trying to do is a disarm attempt of sorts, like a modified disarm. Yeah. And disarm is what? Yeah. Is disarm was uh. Of... And that's that's normally like a combat. That, 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 that disarm goes back to almost like trip, where it's against. Yeah. I don't know Pathfinder. It's like a CM. CM. Yeah, it's CMD. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a really good use of the skill. It's very, it's really creative. That's you know, I definitely applaud the use. Of it. You know, as far as yeah. like you know the game mechanics, you see that's that's the thing. That's the thing with fifth edition. You have it's not as crunchy as like three five, where there was literally a rule for everything. Yeah. So now so you I gotta kind of you know things like this. You gotta kind of make some calls. I guess it would take into account too the gesture in which he's using, which is an aggressive physical gesture of pulling the sword. So there'd probably yeah. be a strength check, even though I would really like it to be a dex check. Strength seems more. <laughs> All right, then strength check it is. Twenty six. Which sucks because I'm sort of in the way now from trying to get the sword out of the way, like flipping yeah, it. Yeah, except Ragnik's aim is never that bad off mm -hmm. coming down. And with Kavir's, I don't, I don't see Kavir putting himself I do. probably harm yeah. in front of the Burgermaster. I would do Like that. you would, would take the blade for him. I was pretty confident in my ability to disarm this blade, taking a portent roll. Um, so I I would in this case I would put myself in between the blade. Well, un un unfortunately, Dees, I was raging, so that gave me advantage on my strength saving throw. So. Okay. Well, I'm doesn't change my positioning any. Give me an attack roll, Bo. Twenty two. All right, you do hit the burgermaster. Fuck. He doesn't hit me. No. Yeah. Um. It is almost like a fancy dance in the squares. The two of you try, or as one of you tries to disarm the other one, but the sword still comes down brutally as it does through the Burgermaster. I'm going to look at the, the dead body here. He's dead, or is he just seriously wounded? I believe he is a commoner, but let me check. Because there's no way he's surviving that on the rage if he is. Give him two levels of fucking armor warrior. <laughs> <laughs> armor plate warrior defense genius god. Bulwark. Bulwark elemental. Okay. No, no, yeah. He doesn't have the HP to survive that. All right. I agree with Ragnik on this one. I hold him. I, again, I hold Cor the, I hold the Jake, head. Jake, no, no one didn't think you didn't. <laughs> I hold the headless body up and I say, cowardice will not be tolerated. And I throw it. No way to lead a people. And I'm gonna I'm gonna look Ragnik in the face and be like, either will evil. Twenty one strength to uh throw the body. However far that goes. With or without the head? Without. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Pretty much ends up on the stairs of the Burger Master's house. 
I shouldn't have found that as amusing as I did. I sheathe the sword. Is it away. really a great idea that we just that Ragnik just killed the father of the guy who saved us from the mirror universe? Oh, he didn't like his dad anyway. Didn't like him so much to be cool with murder. I don't think the kid's gonna be that heartbroken, really. Now let us Ragnik. find let us find you and end this. Ragnik, go back to the crew. Make sure they're safe. Their safety is, is their concern. We need to find the other you and end this now. Do you even hear yourself right now? Duh. You know what? Go ahead and do your thing. And then we'll handle it. Where is other you? Where would you go? You got it. You can handle this. Very well. Um, when I say uh, you can handle this, I'm going to like pat him on his shoulder and uh, use a illusory script. The same trick you pulled on Victor in the during the festival? To yeah. keep his eyes on him? Invisible to everyone, but glowing to me. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to get the uh, I'm going to get the Burger Master's body. All right. I'm assuming still connected. It's not like in chunks. Um, just the heads off. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put the chunks back together. The guards look at you. Um, <clears throat> since you're the only one paying us now, what do we do? Get the rest of your men and meet me in front of. The Burgermeister's house. In ten We're kind minutes. of there. All yeah, right. But they have to go get the rest of them. Meet me back here. Everybody, not just the people on the payroll, but all of them. Everyone left. Get them here. There's only about five of us. Well, it shouldn't take you long. Go. All right. Has they, Ragnick they, they... walked off? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's heading for the house. All right. Once he's a little bit down the road, I'm going to use uh, Adri's scroll to bring this guy back. All right. That doesn't put body parts back together, does it? I put his head, attached it back. We'll consider it one clean swipe. He was dead, but if it's dead for less than a minute, then they come back. That's Revivify, right? Yeah, yeah Revivify. On um, PHP? Yeah. Uh, 272. Damn, she already has it. She ready. But it was intended yeah, for her if anything bad parts. happened to her, so that's why she's got the. Uh, it says, memorized. nor can it restore any missing body parts. Yeah. It can't restore missing body parts? No. It, it's in this text. You um you touch a creature that has died within the last minute. Um, that creature returns life with with one hit point. The spell cannot return a creature <clears throat> that has died of old age, nor can it restore any missing body parts. It doesn't. It's not regrowing it, but the head's still here. That doesn't count, right? No, he, the head would actually have to still be attached for the motherfucker. Well, I'm assuming I would know that she would have instructed me on the scroll beforehand. So, no harm, no foul, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna. I gotta get rid of this body. They're like, we can take it out and bury it if you want in the grave. The guard. Yeah. Yeah. One of them dig the hole and bury the body. The other one go get the rest of the guys. All right. Um. Just so you know, the wife hasn't been in the house since the attack. She's been staying with Lucian at the temple. Her brother. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I guess, sit here and wait for the rest of my men. I'm gonna light up my pipe. All right. So, Ragnar, you you meet the house, right? Yep. All right. You go to the house. You find the door. It's locked, but you guys have your own keys to it. 
Okay. Does does Kavir normally put like a hair on the handle or something so that way we can tell if it's been opened? Not to the, the front house? door. Not to the front door. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. do that to the front. I'd do that to the lab and to the underground stuff. I'm gonna go to the um, go inside, go to, towards the lab to see if anybody's been there. You see Irina kind of standing there with the bow and the sword on her hip, fully armored, with the wolf next to her and the goat behind her. Have you seen Kavir? No. I swear, Ragnik, I haven't seen him. She actually runs and hugs you. It's the first time she sees one of you guys. He kind of brushes her off and turns around and walks out. Kind of like odd. The goat kind of bat baws at you. Keeps walking. Now we know something's wrong with him. <laughs> Hell yeah. He doesn't even love the goat anymore. What's going on? All right, back to the house. So inside the house, Adri, um, Chudakote, what are you guys doing? Um, this is the first time that I've seen. This mystery girl. So. He still is, looks over at you, too. Thank you guys for freeing me of my mom's control. You're welcome. Uh, sorry about what we had to do. She was in league with, de- with, the, de- with the devil. Eh. <laughs> That's such a weird. <laughs> yeah, she was in league with the devil. What you gonna do? Hey, you know. I I used to hate Victor because he's the one who actually cursed me mad. But, but he Victor, did. my mother tried to get him to marry me to take over the town. So Victor is Victor. She says, looking at him. <laughs> what do we tell you? Adrian, Adrian, you have things. You have things under control here because I really need to get going. Shouldn't we kind of stick together? Well, that's why I'm trying to get my pack together. I mean, I'm coming right back. Because that's what we do in Ravenloft. <laughs> we split the fucking party as many ways as possible. Don't you know you never split the party? Unless oh, you're that... in Ravenloft. Then you do it all the time. Okay. Um. I mean, I can't stop you. So I don't... Should... It shouldn't take me that long. How long would it take me out of character? How long would it take me approximately to get there and back? About 10 minutes. Okay. All right. I'm going to let Gertrude know what I'm doing. Tell her to sit tight. All right. And Victor, if Victor wakes up, just, you know, get him a glass of water or something. I don't know. And I tell Storm to stay. And I just, I'm full sprint, going to go get Fauna. And. If anyone else is there, we're just trying to round up everyone that's at the house and get them all back here so that we're all in one spot. Kind of, kind of the same thing that Kavir's doing with the guards. I'm just trying to... No, I understand. You know. I understand. Okay. Deploy our forces uh, intelligently. That's smart. All right. So... Um, okay, Chinooka, do... go for it. All right, all right. Like I said, just full sprint to the house. Um, you, you find Arena in there, armored. You can tell something's happened in the town, but not sure what. Kavir, uh, you definitely see him full sprint to the house as you're smoking the pipe. Yeah. Um, you reach the house. Irina's in there. The goat's behind her. Fauna's next to her. Uh, come on, guys. Let's we got we got to all get together here. We got to round up. Arena's uh, like, yeah, but this is vamp safe zone. My place is vamp safe too. All right, well, we gotta we gotta meet everyone up. We got some people that we need to assist moving. So, all right, all okay. right, Arena, Arena, she... stay here, stay here with Clary Bell. Man, you know, hold down the fort here. Fauna with me. We got more in the pack. The pack's grown, and. I'm going to take Fauna and go back and then try and round everyone back to the house where it's banned food. Adrian's like, can you bring some actual good food, though? I'm hungry. 
I'm about two days away from this goat being fucking barbed. And that toy maker <laughs> is a coward. Say what? The toy maker was like useless in combat. Oh god. He's a toy maker, not a warrior. He's My brother is better than this. And oh, he's wow. true. Not bad. Keep the coward talk on the H on the uh, DL, please. <laughs> we could just not talk about that shit anymore. That'd be cool. <laughs> You're not there, Ragnick. <laughs> wow! Did, did I just hear Adrian's voice come out of Kavir's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take Thorn and get back to the house. Then. And All right. Kind of like let everyone know that that's. No worries. You get back to the house and Fauna kind of sniffs the door around it as you guys get there like it's like something doesn't smell right. It's all right, brother. You got a little sister now. It nods and. So while all that's going on, can Adri also kind of. Because I don't think she's seen this girl in the coffin before. No. So, can I just do like a, I don't know, like a medicine check or something to just see if there's something I can do? I know there's probably not, but I mean, Adri would still check. Yeah, you can check. Go for it. Uh, 23. Um... You definitely, it's kind of like a curse. But medically, magically, nothing. Okay. Is she, she'll just make sure that she's like comfortable and, you know, since there's not really anything she can do. So who else? Okay, so Adri's with Adri's with a little necromancer, a girl that just got un unmaddened, mm -hmm. a priest, mm -hmm. um, a werewolf that is unhinged but somehow under the control of Chunakote. Yeah. And then Chunakote on his way back with his pack. Yeah, I mean, what what could go wrong in the house? Yeah. Hey, yeah. The strength of the pack, man. We can't fail now. We cannot fail. Yeah. So, <laughs> Alrighty. Right. So, what is Adri doing besides checking out the the girl in the box? Um. Is Victor still unconscious? He's semi-conscious now. Okay. Well, I don't want to bother him with a bunch of questions. Does he need more healing? He's kind of walking towards you guys by now, unable to lay down, just kind of looking at you guys odd. So are you you okay? He nods. Don't hurt my book. Oh, no, I won't. I. It was very rash of me to burn your first one. Well, the first one I was trying to build a teleportation circle of death. Yeah. yeah. Can't blame you guys. Okay. Well. And don't tell Kavir this, but he was right about it being where every place has its hell hole. Okay. You don't gotta tell me I'm right, kid. I know I'm right all the time. <laughs> I actually get out of here and I find a place worse than here. Lost them. I'm teleporting out of anywhere. Yeah. Oh, you went. To... So you checked out where we, where we were. Who put the mirror back together? Yeah. Well. That was pretty I bad. I tried to write a note. No, we found it. It was very helpful. Yeah. So did he. Mm -hmm. How, do you know how long ago he came through? Five days. Five days? Thought he was Kavira first, but something wasn't right. Yeah. Certain, oh, look at that. Certain Ripping. facts were off. He's so good and he dressed in black. Kavir, you know, Kavir's Kavir, but he doesn't wear black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seemed to be a theme with the other ones of us. In the what do you mean, place. other ones of you? Oh, there were other, like, other uses. I was a vampire. 
Look how happy she is about that. <laughs> He's like, you know, I don't drink, but I think I need one. You are way too young for that. <laughs> Skeleton's fine. Blood portal, fine. Mirror to a dark realm where I was actually a vampire. Woo. But no drinking and cursing. No, absolutely not. No. Starting by Adri. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. Um, Ragnar didn't look good. Yeah. He had a really hard time over there. Can I talk to him? Um, when he comes back, maybe. It depends on how he's feeling. And what do you mean he left? He... Yeah. But you're here. Yeah. And he left? Yeah. He's, he's like, something doesn't add up here. Yeah. Now we all want to start doing math. Hopefully, Kavir can get him. I've had skiers of schooling. <laughs> um, who's the girl in the hallway? In the box? No, the one that's scratching herself like she has fleas. Oh, uh, that's that. Gertrude. <laughs> I really hope she growls at him, at least. He's kind of whispering to Adrian because he doesn't know who the hell it is. That's Gertrude. Um, so I would, I don't know, just maybe don't, maybe don't talk to her for a while. Is Trudicote collecting dogs? Yeah. Is this Whoa. one nicer than the other one? I don't know. Because I swear to God, the only one. That other one likes is Irina. Since you guys left, mm -hmm. that dog has only been near her. Well, I'm glad she's okay. He got your belly rub. So, uh, do you know how long ago did the other Kavir talk to to have the confrontation with Ludo? Oh, with Ludo? Yeah. I don't know how he lived. Do you know how long how long ago was that? Ludo picked him up before I well, I figured something was wrong, but mm -hmm. it was it was like Ludo saw right through him. I don't know. That was the last we saw of Ludo. No one's really seen him in town since. How many days ago was that? Four. I mean Evil Kivir hit about five and then the next day. Ludo. They got into it on the street. Did they say what did they say? No one knows. We just Did you know Ludo could dual wield swords? No, that's really cool though. But he was just a damn bard. I mean, bards are pretty great. I'm not trusting any more bards in the city. One turned out I have a freak cat, and now the other one's flaying swords in the city. If I ever become Burgermaster, I'm putting a sign up about it. That's that's not yeah. nice, Victor. <laughs> All right, bards are like bards are really cool. They're like music rats. <laughs> So how do you know that he, I mean, okay. Well, let's put it this way. I doubt he would have tried to stab your Kavir. Our Kavir. Yeah. And he didn't have the hat. He didn't have the hat? No. That was the worst part. That's what I felt worst about in the beginning was when he walked through without the hat. I should have known then it was something that was wrong. What did he say about us when he was pretending to be Kavir and he didn't show back up with the rest of us. He said you guys were on your way. It takes longer through the portal than he said something about time magic. Yeah, found that was bullshit when I went through. <laughs> he has that little side smirk in his face <laughs> like that, dude. 
<laughs> I'll let it go. All right, Ragnik, we've been away from you long enough. Heading for the um, the inn. You go to the Blue Water Inn. You find Erwin. Um, Erwin's there. You see him with a couple of his guys. They're armed inside the inn. I mean, they're still serving drinks. The inn's still trying to take care of people. It's one of the actual buildings that's still somewhat standing. His family's protected. He looks over. I'm looking uh, for Luda. Luda? Yes. Hold on. Let me ask. He starts asking through this, um, the scouts. They said they saw him in the graveyard outside of town. Like he's mending his wounds. Turns around and walks away. I swear on all that is holy, if you hurt my dad pyre. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You make your way to the graveyard. Okay. You hear a song being played through it. I'll follow it. All right, you follow it, and you find him. He's there, yeah, pretty much licking his wounds and patching up. And He looks up. He kind of looks at you oddly. Where is Kavir? Oh, thank God you're back. Where is Kavir? Lost sight of him after he gutted me in the middle of town. Which way? As far as I know, he went back west. Or, yeah, west. Turns and heads west. You're not going to find him that way. Then do, enli- do enlighten me. Think think about your Kavir. Obviously, there's two of them. Am I right? Where would I find him? When he wants to be found. If he's anything like yours, he knows how to hide. He knows how to blend himself in. But he's not going to be around here for a while. He's nursing a wound. He's going to go somewhere he thinks is safe to hide and plot. If he's anything like yours, he's already has a plan in place. He's moving. He's dangerous. A whole lot more dangerous than I gave him credit for. I will show him dangerous. I have no doubt. Tell me the others made it. No. How is she? You have a daughter? Wow. That was... He snaps his fingers and you see the half-elf change to the wood-elf. That was odd. She is alive. She is at um unnamed location. I'm not, I'm not going to give away information. Understood. Does she know? No. Nah. You should go oh, you this, should go speak to her. This is gonna be unique. Oh. I oh, didn't want to have this conversation this early. I was hoping for another fifty years. Tough shit. <laughs> I like, I, like her, I like how Ragnar's yeah, like, she's in an unnamed location. You should go talk to her. Well, that's because I can't, I can't remember where we were. <laughs> it's okay. She, she is at, at Chingadera. I swear to you, I'll hunt him down. I do not want you to hunt him down. I want you to tell me where he is so I can hunt him down. If I knew, I would. But if you want me to hunt him down and find him, I will. And can, I'll bring the information back to you when I find him. Can you walk? I can fly if I need to. Fucking brain. Motherfucker, I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> he stands up. It just, it didn't seem best to make my way back to town with that kind of wound. Anytime. Go see your daughter. She fix you. Then come find me and we find Kabir. He bows. And let me tell you this. If you double cross me, the pain I will inflict on you will make Kabir's wounds seem like child's play. 
I believe that. Good, because I do not have ranks in deception. <laughs> <laughs> he heads back. He heads back in. Kavir in the middle of town. The five guards gathered together. Okay. Are they armored and geared. As well as they are. All right, come with me. All right, we're going. We're going to walk back to uh, where everyone's stashed. All right. You go back to the Watcher House. As you get there, Chunakote is returning with his wolves, his fauna, his pack. Everyone's there. Except Ragnik. Adri. Yeah. Your family has a history of being uh, leaders, correct? Yes. I've got some recruits for you. And I'm going to look at them and I'm like, if you want to keep collecting a paycheck, you do everything she says. You hear me? They all nod. And those are trash weapons. And I'm going to walk over to the paintings that we have on the walls. Oh, that's at the lab. We yeah. Yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look and say, can we make sure that they're outfitted the, with the painting weapons? They're better quality. The picture's like, actually, the, we can get money and ship out for good weapons from up north. My father has a stash in the house. The money he's been saving from the taxes. I'm going to look at the guards and be like, how many able-bodied men and women are there in this town? Capable, not necessarily combat trained, but... Capable? capable. Well, there's a five here. Probably the ten, um, the ten were ravens that we didn't know were in town. There, there's the there's town. seven townsfolk that have been trained by Ragnik. Yeah, there oh, are Ragnix. Yeah, there are those those seven. Victor's like, I got five skeletons. Okay. Yeah, but they don't have any guts. Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! My turn to face bomb. <laughs> Dad joke oh. on point, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Skeletal bards only play trombones. That's the one you should have used. <laughs> it hits all of our bases. Skeletons. Victor's bards. like, are you setting up a retaliation attack against the Vastoni camp outside? No. Oh. Damn it, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Adri's just speaking through everybody tonight. <laughs> uh, I want to tell them to get as many people together as they can because we need to bolster defenses here. But Adri will be able to tell you where to deploy and where to guard and what's important. But I have a friend who's disappeared and I need to go find him. And I'm going to like stop myself and be like, I have an acquaintance that has gone missing and I have to go find him. Right? The guards gonna... all, everyone pretty much believes you except for pretty much your party. And Victor. I'm going to take my hat and I'm going to give it to Adri. I'm going to plop it on her head and be like, now you are a judge, young one. And I'm going to do the like Simba thumb across the forehead. Make sure you poke holes for your ears. Don't, it's not that kind of hat. What the fuck do you guys keep thinking of some weird fucking like down to the shoulders hat? Old fucking mush mouth style. She like, got... <laughs> got eye holes in it. Uh, in all fairness, you might have to cut the top out to get that forehead to come out. <laughs> Sunroof that hat. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a thieves cant to Chunakote, right? And that's right. gonna be to keep a really close eye out on any person that's a guard. Just, I mean, constant checks to make sure they who, who they say they are. Not a problem. The wolf spirits are strong. I will sniff them out. Victor whispers something to his uncle. Lucian, I could cast Zone of Truth on an item and you guys walk around and check everyone. As long as the spell lasts. I think this is just a suggestion as I'm about to leave so you guys can decide. But The house has materials. It's prevented from vampires. It's prevented from werewolves. It's Seems like a good base of operations. 
Plus, costumes downstairs. Right? I think it would be better for us to go to our own house and set up a base there. Victor's like, I ca- I'll call yeah. dibs in the lab. I'm going to look at him like... <laughs> <laughs> I especially want the one costume, the confessional. Baby confessional? No, oh, no. How adorable. Hey, my ancestor was a cleric. Her bones are buried in Strahd's castle. What? Lucian just face palms. It's true. His mother's side. Lucian face palms. Everybody face palms. <laughs> Victor, shut up. What? <laughs> That's how we should do the, the, the clap at the beginning of episodes. So we should just do one, two, three. Ragnick say palm. something. Everyone face palm. I bet it'll happen all at the same time. <laughs> all right. Uh, with those basic uh, things, I'm going to take the light sword in one hand, not active. And uh, I'm like, I'll be back as soon as I can get Ragnick under control. And then I'm going to dash the house. Yeah, I'm going to dash out down the street in the direction he went and try to track him. All right. He shouldn't be hard considering he's 650 pounds and nine feet tall. And (laughs) he's a meatball just rolling down the street with blood splatters every 50 yards. I'll work on getting everyone. Yeah. uh, Back to the um, back of the house. Yeah. Gonna make sure we got the. uh, Sleeping Beauty with us. I will be, I will be overseeing that as if I were overseeing my own genitalia. All right. If you're careful. As you guys Did are... you say you were going to watch his daughter like you were watching your own genitals? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 I'm using that level of care. Oh, man. Oh. That's... I, as a matter of fact, I've called an audible about who <laughs> I want watching my unconscious daughter. <laughs> I was trying to explain that, like, the level of care and caution and the delicacy of the music. I said, <laughs> Jake, Jake, hashtag pudding, Papa. <laughs> Dude, with as many of those ladies as you chase, I don't know how much you take care of those, bro. <laughs> I gotta keep them working. Oh, man. Uh, ashes, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, keep it in use, and it will not rust. Oh. <laughs> I am living proof. Oh, yeah, wow. It'll ox- it'll we just had an AARP oh. commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank AARP for my continued sexual activity. AARP penis. We're here to help you. <laughs> They've got one up on the competition. Oh. <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to find another. Uh, there it goes. She couldn't have ignored it that long. <laughs> I just I just realized that I'm probably gonna edit this episode, so I'm gonna hear this again in the future. Help, Jake's balling and he can't get up. <laughs> oh, don't be, don't be so testy, guys. Oh, oh man, I, I, right. left, I left a scrope for you guys. Note for you guys. I'm, I'm I'm just glad that you're giving us all these professional tips. Yeah, just the tips. Oh, just the tips, though. Just the <laughs>
questions or comments, send an email to freelanceheroismpodcast at gmail.com. And don't forget to give us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, the invoice is in the mail.